welcome back. Today's video is going to be on this look that you see here for Valentine's Day. I wanted to come on here and at least create one look throughout my busy schedule that I have. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the look and I love how it came out. I actually wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I did want to do some sort of a cut crease kind of look, but incorporate some glitter in it and mix up a lip for you. I have uh, three lipsticks mixed into this lip combination that you see here, so I hope you guys like it. I knew for sure that I wanted to do a makeup look using the Kathleen Lights palette because this is the most affordable palette that I have in my collection that I think is perfect for any kind of holiday. If it's Valentine's Day or any other kind of holiday throughout the year, this is the perfect go-to palette. It has literally every shade that I think I would need to create so many different looks to take it on the go. I I love this. It's only $14.99 and I think it's still available. I'm not sure, but if it is, I will leave all the information in the description box below. I did purchase mine a while back and I've been using it non-stop. Like, there are some shades in this palette that I already made a dent in them, so I really love this palette. If you don't have this palette, you really should get your hands on it if it's still available. It's a perfect price. $14.99. The pigmentation is amazing. It's just amazing and overall great palette and if you are a huge supporter of Kathleen Lights like I am, then you definitely need this palette. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get started. Hello my loves! Alright, we are going to get started with the face, but before I do that, I like to prime my lips with the Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask by Nicole Guerrero. Been loving this a lot lately. I use it every night. It's amazing to condition the lips throughout the night, so I've been really, really loving that. To prime the skin, I am taking the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte. And I've actually been liking this. I know at first I didn't really like it, but I think it all depends exactly how much you apply and where you apply it. But I'm just going to put this all over the areas where I get the most oily, usually the center of my face, and just smooth it all out. While I'm waiting for the primer to set, I'm going to prime the eyes as well with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. To set the paint pot in place, I'm going to set it with this beige shade from the palette and just apply it all over where I put the paint pot. Now I'm going to be moving on to foundation and I'm going to mix these two today. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and the Maybelline Matte Poreless. I love the Matte and Poreless, but I wanted a little bit of a mixture of a glowy foundation also with the matte, so I figured this might look a little different on me, but I just wanted to try something different. So I'm just going to blend it all in with my Beauty Blender and I feel like I did apply too much foundation so the Beauty Blender will soak up just a little bit so that it doesn't look so crazy. Now for concealer, I thought I had a clip of this but I guess not. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light, I want to say, and I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend it all out. Now to set the concealer in place, I am going to bake a little bit with the RCMA No Color Powder. I have this powder in a Laura Mercier container because it's just more convenient, a little less messy, so I like to tap underneath the eyes to get out any creases that are left behind and then go in and bake with the powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. And this is in the shade Warm Nude number 30. I just take a big fluffy, well not really fluffy, it's like a dense face brush from Morphe. I forget the number of it, but I just set my entire face and then I use this to also buff away the excess powder. And then for my brows, I decided to try something different. I am going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder. 
and I believe this one's in the shade Brunette, and I just go ahead and fill in my brows. This is not what I normally do on a day-to-day -day basis, and my brows did become a little bit more bold, but I usually use a pencil, but for today's look, I just decided to use a brow powder instead. Starting with this first shade, I'm going to be applying this all over the crease. It's a beautiful berry mauve shade, but it's a lot lighter than the second shade that's next to it. I just took a more precise crease brush and applied it all over the crease and a little bit blown out at the same time. It's a little messy, but I'm going to be going in and cleaning it up and you'll see when I do that and then also blending it with a blending brush. And you will see me go back and forth. I like to touch up the berry color in the crease to just deepen it up a little bit more. And also going back in with the blending brush just to make sure it's all nicely blended. And now it's time to cut the crease. So I went in with the MAC Paint Journey Paint Pot to do this. But I feel like I should have used a concealer just to have a little bit more movement in doing so because it just wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. So I suggest maybe going in with a concealer because the Painterly Paint Pot was just a little too drying to do this to actually make it work, but I was able to do it. I took my time and you'll see me here just cutting the crease and just outlining it all the way to the very end. And then I went back in with the same mauve shade with the same precise blending brush and I just went in and retouched up the color and then you'll see me go back in with the flat shader brush just to touch up the cut crease as well. For the lid shade, I went in with this beautiful sheen of a burgundy kind of shade. I went in with the same brush, but then I decided I wanted more of a pop of color. So I put this shade down first, and then I thought, well, it would be beautiful if I paired it with this gold shade. And when I placed this on the lid on top of that mauve shade, I thought it was just so stunning and so gorgeous. So I went ahead and went with the flow. I went ahead and applied a little bit of the RCMA No Color Powder just to clean up the edges. Now moving on to glitter, I am taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Glitter. And I just love these. They are so easy to use and just so easy to apply to any makeup look. I forget the shade name of this one, but it's just a beautiful gold. And with the brush tip, it's just so much easier to apply directly into the crease and exactly where you want it. It's just, I love the precision that there is with this product. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Too Faced Liquid Liner, and I know there's a shade to this one too, a shade name, but I know there's like a glossy one and a matte black one. This is the glossy one that actually came in a collection a while back, and I haven't used it in quite a while, and then when I used it, I just thought it was really, really nice. Moving on to mascara, I'm taking the Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit and just curling my lashes. I'm just going to be applying a very light layer of mascara. For lashes today, I am going to be using the Eyelore in collab with Nicole Guerrero style number 143. I love this style. They're very, very, very fluffy looking and they're very thick, but they're very lightweight. And I actually, when I applied them, I was a little confused on how applying them because they were very thick, but then at the same time, they were kind of lightweight. So I actually enjoyed them. They are really beautiful. Now moving on to the lower lash line, I am taking the same fairy shade that I used in the crease and I'm going to be applying it and smoking out my lower lash line. Next I'm going to be taking this next berry shade, it's a bit deeper, and I'm just going to smoke out a little bit on the lower lash line just to darken it up a little bit. And now to highlight the inner corners of my eyes, I am taking this 
kind of shimmery white champagne -y kind of shade. I want to say it's more white than it is champagne-y, but I just went ahead and hit the inner corners and also the brow bone highlight as well and blended it all out. And then I applied mascara, the same roller lash mascara, on the lower lashes. Bronze up my face. I am breaking out my Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers and using the two chocolate bronzers here. I haven't used it in a while and I just forgot how much I missed it when I was applying it. Such a beautiful shade range here and it's just so nice and warm and it smelled amazing still. And I just applied it all over my face. I also went ahead and attempted to contour my nose just a little bit, not realizing that it was actually a little bit darker than I intended it to be, but that's okay. I went in with the stippling brush and blended it out. Now for blush, I am taking this one by Lorac. I believe it's called Aura, but I'm not exactly sure. It's a much darker violet kind of color and I thought it would pair beautifully with this look, so I just blended it all out on my cheeks. And then I thought it was a little bit too low, so I went in with the stippling brush and blended everything out. And for highlight, I'm taking this one also by Lorac. This one is called Moonlight, and it is so stunning. I cannot get over this highlight. This has been my favorite go-to highlight literally every single day. I cannot stop using this highlight. It is so beautiful. It can be applied so dramatically, but then it can be blended out so sheerly to make it look so natural. It's just so stunning. So I put it everywhere, as usual. I felt like my bronzer was a little bit too low on my face, so I went ahead and applied some of the RCMA No Color Powder just to clean up the lines underneath. And now for lips. I first wasn't sure what I wanted to try, but then I remembered I've been so obsessed with these three lip colors from MAC in collaboration with Selena. This first one is Amor Prohibido, such a beautiful nude brown shade if you want to just keep it nude. And then I added Como La Flor, which is a beautiful red glossy color. And this is such a beautiful shade, I love it. But then I also added shade number three, which is Dreaming of You and is a darker wine color. And that is how I came up with this combination of this berry color that you see here. I've been, I've been obsessing with these three lipsticks together and I've been using it constantly together a lot. So I really hope you guys enjoy the look. Of course, this is the completed look. Let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I will talk to you guys soon.